Originally known as the Blue Mountain and Reading Railroad, the railroad was founded in 1983, as we talked about earlier, to provide freight service on the former Pennsylvania Railroad Schoolkill Division between Hamburg, Pennsylvania and Temple, Pennsylvania. Starting in 1985, the BMNR, that's the Blue Mountain and Reading, began operating passenger excursions over the line and two steam locomotives, the ex-Gulf Mobile and Northern Railroad 462 number 425 and the ex-Reading Company T1484-2102. The Blue Mountain and Reading also began operating three additional state-owned lines. Additionally, the Blue Mountain and Reading entered into a partnership with the Reading Company Technical and Historical Society who leased track space in Leesport and in return leased two diesel locomotives and assorted passenger cars for use on the line. In 1990, the Blue Mountain and Reading took ownership of 150 miles of track located in the coal region north of Reading. Shortly thereafter, the company was renamed the Reading, Blue Mountain, and Northern and relocated its headquarters from Hamburg to Port Clinton. Throughout the 1990s and 2000s, the Reading and Northern acquired more lines in northeastern Pennsylvania, primarily in Reading Railroad, Central Railroad of New Jersey, and Lehigh Valley Railroad Heritage. In the mid-1990s, the Reading and Northern discontinued the regularly scheduled passenger operations between Hamburg and Temple and instead focused on occasional excursions throughout the rest of its system. The partnership between the RNN and Reading Company Technical and Historical Society had more or less ended by this point, but the group still leased track space in Leesport until 2008 when they moved to the Hamburg Yard and opened the Reading Railroad Heritage Museum. Despite the discontinuation of the Hamburg to Temple excursions, steam operations continued. In 1995, both of the Reading and Northern steam locomotives were present at the grand opening of Steamtown National Historic Site in Scranton, though only the 425 was operational. The two would remain at Steamtown until 1997. Between 1998 and 2009, all steam operations were suspended. In 2005, regularly scheduled passenger excursions resumed with the introduction of the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway in Jim Thorpe. In December 2016, the Reading and Northern announced that it would invest $2 million to construct a train station at Pennsylvania Route 61 and Bellevue Avenue in Muhlenberg Township outside of Reading called the Reading Outer Station with plans to operate passenger excursions from there to Jim Thorpe. On May 29, 2017, the first round-trip excursion from Reading Outer Station to Jim Thorpe operated, utilizing refurbished rail diesel cars that were built by the Bud Company in the 1950s and formerly operated along the Pottsville line between Pottsville and Philadelphia via Reading until SEPTA discontinued diesel service in 1981. Between 2009 and 2010, the Reading and Northern expanded operations due to the emergence of the Marcellus Shale natural gas drilling in northeastern Pennsylvania. The railroad spent $100,000 to transform an outdated and lightly used Pittston Yard near Wilkes-Barre. The RNN also purchased two new locomotives, 101 rail cars, and six miles of track between Monroton and Tawanda, Pennsylvania, where much of the northeastern Pennsylvania's Marcellus Shale economic activity is focused. Around 2009, the Reading and Northern bought the assets of the Tawanda Monroton Shippers Lifeline Railroad from former owner Joseph Zadruski of Scranton, who'd owned and operated the line since 1979. The line is about 40 miles north of Reading and Northern's northernmost terminus in Mahoopany, Pennsylvania, Wyoming County, and was originally part of the Susquehanna and New York Railroad. The trackage from Sayre to Monroton was taken over by the Lehigh Valley when the rest of the S and NY was abandoned and demolished in 1942. The part bought by the RNN starts at Packer Avenue in Tawanda and goes south toward Monroton. The rest of the TMSL is owned by Schaefer's Feed Service, who was once the line's main customer. At Packer Avenue, the line connects to the Norfolk Southern, which is leased by the Lehigh Railway. In its last days of ownership under Joe Z, the line was operated with two part-time employees. The intent of the line's purchase was to market the TMSL segment to natural gas producers. At the time, Trains Magazine had reported that the RNN had bought the 1.5-mile northern end but will operate over the entire 6-mile line. That was over a decade ago. Today, it doesn't appear that much is happening on the TMSL, but hopefully that will change in the future.
Tawanda, Pennsylvania is a small town near the New York State border and is the county seat of Bradford located about 66 miles northwest of Wilkesbury along the Susquehanna River. The town was settled in 1784 and incorporated in 1828 and was known for its industrial interests which included flour, planing and silk mills, a foundry and a machine shop, a manufacturer of talking machines, cut glass, toys and furniture. During the turn of the 20th century, the population of Tawanda was just under 4,000. As of the 2010 census, the population was just under 3,000. As is the case with most business centers in America, one cannot overstate the importance that the railroads played to the development of Tawanda as a commercial center beginning with the first Pennsylvania and New York train in 1869. In the years following, approximately six passenger four freight and nine coal trains arrived at and departed Tawanda each way daily and no part of town was spared. Train traffic persisted even on Sundays when their passing interfered with the services at the nearby churches. The red brick structure to the left of this photo was built by Pennsylvania and New York in 1884 as a freight depot. It was later used as a station by several rail lines including the Barclay, the Lehigh Valley, the State Line in Sullivan and the Susquehanna and New York. The north side of the building, which you can see here, housed the station agent, the train dispatcher, and the Western Union operator. The freight room was in the rear of the building. In 1922, the Susquehanna and New York constructed the white building just visible to the left. Smaller than the freight depot, this one-story building of steel and stucco has an asbestos roof. The station had three rooms, a ticket office, a freight room, and a passenger waiting room. The building was city steam heated and electric lighted and the Postal Telegraph Company also had a room in this new station. I apologize that I can't show you the whole station but I accidentally deleted the photo. Not shown in this video is the main passenger depot for the rail lines which was located in the north part of Tawanda near the intersection of Hawes Street and Packer Avenue. 